Strata Debt Mold, Debt Molder, Test Nulda. Fucking hell, what a mouthful that was. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. This is from the Private Browery Strata Debt Mold, and it is their Debt Molder Thest or Tesnulda beer, I should say. And uh, as you may have guessed, they're based in a place called Debt Mold, which is in, obviously, Germany, but it's situated between Hanover and Dortmund. Um, if you know where Paderborn is, if you've had anybody who's in or served in the British Army and they were part of an armoured regiment or any other regiment really, uh, Paderborn was one of the big camps that were used by the British Army of the Rhine. Uh, it was also, if I'm not mistaken, it was a tank proving ground used by the Germans during World War II. And uh, they, the British used it as well as a, a tank training ground, firing range, artillery range, etc. So there you go, a little bit about uh, a bit about uh, debt mold. Um, this is their Tesnulda beer, which is named after a woman called Tesnulda. Now they've got her depicted on the oldie label there. Can you see her? She is, or that is, a depiction of uh, Tesnulda, who was the wife of Arminius. If you know your Roman history, you will have heard of Arminius. He inflicted one of the most devastating, not the most devastating, but one of the most devastating attacks on the Romans who were trying to invade Germany. And I think he destroyed three legions in the Teutoburg Forest. If you've not read about the Teutoburg Forest, uh, that's quite an interesting story. Uh, basically, Arminius was a, a German who uh, joined the Roman army, and because the Roman army was made up of uh, basically foreigners, it was the first foreign legion, if you like, and uh, eventually he uh, he switched sides and fought for the Germanic tribes, specifically the Cherusci tribe, which he was a member, and he united them all, and they defeated the invading Roman army in the Teutoburg Forest. And after that, I don't think the Romans uh, attempted to invade um, Germany over the Rhine ever again. But there, there were there were attacks by the Romans, and uh, Tesnulda, Arminius's wife, was captured by the Romans by uh, Germanicus and uh, brought back to Rome and par paraded as a trophy. I'm sure she was pleased with that. But that is a depiction of her on the side, and. She's got two rows of corn stuck in that steel helmet that she's wearing. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically the story of the name on this. If you can, I've just noticed this on there. Can you, if you if you look on the side, they're supposed to be Roman soldiers who've uh, who've had their uh, arises kicked by the Germanic tribes. Um, I've had this beer before. My mate Norby back in I think it was 2014. He bought me a load of beers over from Germany and this was one of them. And I do remember this as being the standout beer for me. Now I've tried a few of the beers from the, this uh, Strata Depp Molder Brewery on the channel. I think you may have seen them before. I'm not sure how easy this is gonna to be to get hold of because they're quite a small brewery. They're one of the 32 biggest independent breweries in uh, Germany at the moment. And uh, they, they have always remained independent. So. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be for you to get this over here, but if ever you're in Germany, specifically Northwest Germany, then you see this about, then this shouldn't be too hard to get hold of. Uh, my mate lives uh, in, well, near Munster, and uh, this beer is quite, quite often found in the shops over there. So, yeah, that is really about all I can tell you about this. So, without further ado, let's get on to the next section. Right, fortunately there's no brew sheet on this uh, beer. Um, all I know is that the IBUs on this are 28, which is sort of about right for a, 
um, a Hellas. It doesn't actually say what type of beer this is, unfortunately, but it's 4.8%. Uh, it's a 330ml bottle, uh, just contains um, malt with barley, hops, and water. Um, I'm just trying to, it just it's just called it a beer. I imagine this is some kind of bottom fermented type. I couldn't get a name or what type of beer it was on the, on the website either. They just didn't bother classifying it. But it has won a gold medal in some for some award in 2017. I'm not surprised. I do remember it as being a good beer, a standout beer amongst all the other beers that got that he got me at the time. And there were some good ones. There were some bad ones as well. There was Holston Pils in there. And I was really keen to try that. And I, I drank it and really didn't think much of it. And nothing much has changed. Anyway, let's get this open and let's see what's going on. The flip top bottles that they use, uh, this brewery use, uh, were instituted in 1985 and they um, have them on all their beers, which I suppose is a little bit eco friendly. I'm not sure how clean this glass is, but let's have a. Let's have a little gander. Right, I'll tell you now, this glass is not clean at all. Lots of bubbles sticking to the side. It's very light. It's a very light colour. It's almost, I'd say that was like a Hellas, if anything. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, there's lovely floral lemon citrus coming. That's the immediate thing that you get from this. And then some light, bready type malt on there. Wow, the floral notes on this are really big. And I'm wondering if they used the um, the uh, Hallertau Middle Fru or something like that on there, because it's really floral and fruity on that. It's almost like there's orchard fruit as well as lemon on there. There's a sweetness, a honey sweetness to it too. It smells really good, really, really interesting aroma. Let's see what the flavour is. Zum Wohl, as I say in Germany. Oh, that's really good. And this is what I, oh, oh that finish. Oh, that's really good. That's really nice. And this is what I remember from last time as well. And I think this is why it was the standout beer. Because it's got lovely fruity notes on there. Subtle, but there. Orchard fruit, pear, that type of thing. A little bit of lemon citrus. And it's really good. Nice honey notes to that too. Almost like there's added honey to it. Now they've got the IBUs down as 28. I wouldn't, I would have said it's less. I said it would have said it was in the late teens, early 20s. This isn't really a, hasn't really got a spicy note on there this is all about the nice sweet orchard fruit some honey and some bready type malt on the finish yeah that's lovely and they only do it in 330ml bottles which is a real shame and i do remember the other beers from the depp molder or the strata depp molder brewery not being that great, to be honest, from the last batch that I had. If you look on the channel, you'll see that there's a couple of others on there. And I think I may have some in the archive that will be going up at some point. But this for me is their standout beer. It really is good. This isn't very full bodied, but what it is, is very drinkable. And it's got some nice flavours on it too. As I've mentioned, them floral aromas are, and flavours are really big. The orchard fruit on there is big as well. And all in all, that is a very, very good attempt. Lovely. Goes down great. There's one gripe on this beer. It's the slightly weak body to it. But it more than makes up for that in flavour. Um, I'm going to put it down because, seriously, the day I've had, I would just neck that. But that's a very, very nice drinkable beer. Mm -hmm. 
So, what is the verdict on the Tesnolder Detmold or Detmolder Tesnolder beer? Uh, in a word, nice. It's as good as I remember it from from 2014. It was a standout beer for me in a big batch of beers that were brought over. And I haven't had it since, but I always knew it was a good one. I've since drank some other beers from this brewery and they haven't been that great, but this is, uh, I would say, one of their best beers. Uh, I like it, there's no nasties in there whatsoever. If there's one gripe that I do have on this, uh, or two gripes, it's only in a 330ml bottle. I could have done with a 500ml bottle of that, to be honest. But the other thing is the body is, is slightly weak on there, um, but that's, Again, that's just a, a minor gripe. Overall, that is a really nice beer. No hint of spice whatsoever. It's just got a lot of the the honey esters that come, or the honey notes that are coming from the from the yeast. Um, there's some nice fruity notes on there, some hop fruitiness, which I'm assuming are coming from the potentially coming from the middle through that they may have used in there. As I say, there's no brew sheet, so I can't really tell you, but I had no complaints about that whatsoever. That is a fantastic beer. Oh, I'm going to give that an eight and a half out of 10. And I think that's a solid eight and a half out of 10 as well. And I'm going to recommend it. However, there's a caveat on that. You may struggle to get hold of this in the UK. Now I have seen it obviously for sale online in Germany. Um, whether you want to do that or not, I'm not sure what the cost would be, so certainly to somebody in the UK. But if ever House of Trembling Madness or the uh, Beers of Europe websites have this, I urge you to try some. It's a really nice beer. And as I say, the only, well, one of the downsides to this is it's only in a 330ml bottle. That should be in a 500ml because that is a really nice beer. I'm very impressed with that. And that is an eight and a half, a solid eight and a half out of 10. Recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne.